Hey everybody, welcome back to Doc G's Reloading. I just wanted to do some final thoughts on my Atlas Artemis. Um, I've run a couple hundred rounds through it already. And uh, so this is my fourth Atlas gun. And this gun is the most fantastic, most awesome, unbelievable firearm I've ever seen, touched, owned, uh, etc. I, I took my first six shots with this and I started laughing because it recoiled about as much as the open guns do with their gigantic, uh, you know, compensators and muzzle brakes. This thing didn't even move off target on recoil. Uh, they call it, you know, perfect zero or return to zero. It didn't even return to zero. It stayed right there. Um, I shot a club event and because of a foot surgery, I couldn't run. So all I could do was shoot. I still finished 12th. I finished in the middle of the pack with some really, really, really good shooters. Um, not even being able to run because this gun was so accurate and so fast that my accuracy and speed were really decent, even though I couldn't run from position to position. So uh, I, I just, I cannot get over how unbelievable this gun is. I mean, you know, with the sight block in front, Again, I don't know that that matters to me. I'm not a GM shooter, but uh, the way this gun fires and, and goes right back to zero is just just absolutely amazing. This is, like I said, by far, and this is my fourth Atlas gun, and of the four Atlas guns I have, this is the absolutely most fantastic one. This is head and shoulders better than any of my other Atlas guns. Um, you know, I'm gonna be shooting USPSA uh, limited division, as you can tell by the big Magwell. Uh, I'm going to be shooting uh, USPSA Limited Optics Division uh, where I can have my regular magazines and everything. I just put the optic on. Uh, and then this is the Holosun 507 Comp. I did a video on this uh, not too long ago. And this is the one that has uh, the biggest window on the market. Uh, and it has eight different um, reticles that you can choose from. And mine, I did the dot in the center with the biggest circle around it. And for me, again, it's like an EOTech. Uh, for whatever reason, my eyes go right to that. I have never had a problem finding the dot on this. I've never searched for the dot. It's always been right there. I shot the six plat, six plat, uh, we have a six plate rack where I shoot. And I shot that yesterday at 10 yards. I did it in four and a half seconds from the draw, um, all six plates. And did the same with the dueling tree, uh, going from the bottom up six, plate dueling tree did that in four and a half seconds so uh this gun just it, it the recoil is just so well managed it's just uh, unbelievable i can't even explain to you how wonderfully this gun shoots it's a sub two pound trigger uh we went over that before um and i got the long trigger because i got big hands you can get whatever trigger you want but i so on this here I, these are very aggressive textures i got the palm swell on this side and I got the step on this side we can see this is flat here and then it steps up so that when you're gripping here you're gripping here you get this part of your hand right here gets right onto this elevated part so nothing moves uh, at all um, it's the same as my other Atlas guns, but uh, I, I just could not believe how flat this thing shot it was just absolutely ridiculous so like i said first six shots i, I had to stop because i was laughing so hard but um the probably i know no not, not probably absolutely the best firearm purchase i've ever made in my life um of course i love competing i love the uspsa stuff um i don't necessarily love the uspsa but i love shooting competitions um actually they're doing a that pcsl shooting uh at one of my clubs and i actually like that better um, so anyway, um, that is the final thoughts on the Atlas Artemis. Uh, if you're going to do USPSA limited division shooting, uh, with an optic, uh, this is in my opinion, the gun to have. So, all right. Thanks again for watching Doc G's Reloading. Let me know if you have any questions.